going on my fellas? It's Evan back with another video for the grade one twos. And it's dividing fractions, wrapping up the fractions, well, arithmetic for fractions. Clifford seems to want to pop in. Okay, let me translate that. He says, this, I'm Clifford and, this, and I'm with Evan from the Hockey Kids Math Corner and I hope you learned something new today. He says, yes, that's right. Okay, Cliff, go be Clifford while I teach, unless you want to stay. Okay, so basically same thing as multiplication. We could have the fraction 7 eighths divided by 6 eighteenths, and we would just have to divide both. Well, I'm pretty sure you might have to find common denominator. I'm not 100% sure. That's fine. You don't even need to know if you have to do that. Because there's a strategy in the house. Well, let me make that 16. I like the number 16 better than the number 18. So we have a strategy in the house. So, the strategy is because division can often be very hard. We can make it multiplication, which is very easy. So. What we have to do is flip these two numbers. Like leave the seven eighths and change this to a multiplication sign. If we want to do that, we have to flip it so it becomes 16 over 6. And then we can multiply. Easy. So 16 over 6. Still very hard problem. I know for a fact that this is 2 over 1. And now it's easier. And you can get 14 over 6. And then if you were to simplify that down, to mix improper fractions and mixed numbers, like just for fun, I'm not teaching about it. It would be two and two, six, which is equal to two and one third, okay? So basically what I'm doing to be able to make it multiplication is I'm flipping the numbers. So you could have, if you get lucky, you would already have an improper fraction, so you could just go nine over 16. But if you don't, if you have like a fraction 4 8, it's going to have to become an improper fraction like 8 fourths. So, you know what? I will teach you a little bit about it. So, basically, an improper fraction is something that's over 1. So, 8 8. So, if you have a number line, let's just say this 2, this is 1, and then 2. Let's just say that was equal. This was 1 fourth. This was 2 fourths. This was 3 fourths. This was 4 fourths, which is 1. This was 5 fourths. This was 6 fourths. This was 7 fourths. This was 8 fourths, and so on and so on and so on. I know they're not equal. They should be equal, but they're not because I'm very bad at drawing. So basically, anything up to the four, anything up to, th for this case, anything up to three fourths is a proper fraction. That's what we call it. And then like once we hit four fourths, we call it a whole number. And then once we go on the other side, we call it improper, an improper fraction. And that, and we can make an improper fraction into a mixed number. So every, so this is an improper fraction, seven fourths. I'll use that as an example. So if you have the fraction seven fourths, that's an improper fraction. But in its mixed number form, you want to try and at least get a whole number in there. So you can ask yourself. You can ask yourself how many how many holes do I have? Well, well so let's say this was the point. So you can see that you have one. You haven't quite reached two yet. That you know eight divided by four is two. That's where we're all getting a two here. Yeah, this is zero. Very important. Read that zero. Zero over four. Zero. Can't forget it. So we're in between one and two, but not quite at two, so it's one. So a mixed number would be one and something over four. So we're divide, we've divided this into fourths. So let's now pretend that this is zero and this is one. And let's pretend that it's one, four, two, four, three, four, four fourths. Let's pretend.
10 and all that. So in fact, I'll write it over top. So like 1 fourth, 2 fourths, 3 fourths, 4 fourths, and then this is 0 over 4. So we can keep moving to the right of this until we reach the decimal point, or the point, 1, 2, 3. We can't count how many it is, 3, and that's how many it is, 3 fourths. So a mixed fraction of 7 fourths is 1 and 3 fourths. So hopefully, hopefully you now know what an improper fraction and a mixed number is. I'm going to dive deeper into it in another grade. But anyways, let's do some more examples of dividing fractions. Three-fifths divided by mm, seven over three. Okay. It's hard to do this sub not subtraction. <clears throat> Excuse me. It's hard to do this division, so we can flip these to get three-fifths times, we leave this, and this becomes a multiplication as long as we flip these two numbers. <coughs> Should have said this earlier, but basically the denominator becomes the numerator, and the numerator becomes the denominator. Okay? I'll say it again. The denominator becomes the numerator. And the numerator becomes the denominator. Okay? So, in this case, 3 would become the numerator. And 7 would become the denominator. So it's 3 times 3 fifths times 3 sevenths. That's easy enough. And plus, you can't make it any simpler without going into decimals, which we're not learning about in fractions. Until like grade six, and I don't even have grade six up and running yet. But I will soon. I don't know. So, we can keep using the strategy to just forget about one thing. So, just don't forget that. So, what's three times three? We all know it's nine. And what's five times seven or seven times five? It's 30, 35. So, that is your answer. Let's do one more. Seventy-two over three times five, or no, not times, divided by five. Uh, So we're going to leave it at 72 over 3 times 8 over 5, or 5 over 8. I almost made that mistake myself. Because the denominator becomes the numerator, and the numerator becomes the denominator. So the new fraction is 5 eighths. Okay? So, 72 times 5. That's hard to do. I purposely picked the 8 for the numerator, not the denominator, because we can use a strategy for it. 72 divided by 8. Let's do that. It's kind of easy. You, It's 9. And how I know that, you can also use a 9 trick. So like this, you have your hands. And 72 divided by 8. Well... This would be 54, 9 times 6. 9 times 7 is 63. I learned that. And then 1, 2, 3. Uh, 9 times 8 is 72. I know all that stuff by heart, but you might not know it. You might have to use a calculator still, which I'm hoping you don't by now. But anyways, it is 9 over 1. So this would be 9 over 1. And we all, we should all know what 9 times 5 is, 9 times 5, but with the trick, so we put our fifth finger down, so this is finger 1, finger 2, finger 3, finger 4, finger 5, finger 6, finger 7, finger 8, finger 9, and finger 10. So we're going to put our fifth finger 1, finger 1, finger 2, finger 3, finger 4, finger 5. Okay, so everything on this, on the left side basically of the thing about we put down is 10. So 
10, 20, 30, 40. Okay, so we know that the tens is 40 and everything on the right is ones. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5. 45 is the answer to that. And 8 times 3, 3 times 8 is 24. If only that number was 48, we could have made that too. Okay? Anyways, that's another example. I hope I, once again, I hope I did teach you something new. If I didn't, once again, go to Khan Academy or watch another video. I'm just doing the best I can. Okay? Go for it. Come here, bud. That's going to be all from today on the Hockey Kids Math Corner. Hope you, hope you learned something new from Evan. He's an awesome guy. And be sure to like and subscribe and all that good stuff. And practice, practice, practice. That, and I'm going to say his line. Wait, you're not going to say my line. That's all for me. It's Evan for the Hockey Kids Math Corner. Peace out. He said my line. Anyways, I'll say it anyways. That's all for me. Peace out.